Hello, and welcome. This is the RTS game, Empire at War. Installed on this game is one of the most popular mods for this game, Thrawn's Revenge. This mod is a complete overhaul of the base game that brings with it a lot of new factions with a lot of new units and the occasional lag. I have a multitude of galactic conquests to choose from. I chose the Back to War, which is based off these four books. They're quite good. Anyway, I'm playing as the New Republic on Captain Difficulty. Side note. The audio quality of the gameplay is, in simple terms, quite shit. That's last time I record without a pair of headphones. This is the galactic map. A whopping 26 planets. With this map, we can see which planets we own and which planets we mean to liberate. For the planets I own, I can place down structures in space or on the ground that will give me galactic boosts and place down infrastructure that will allow me to build massive space fleets and D-Day level ground forces. This conquest also comes with viable story options, which is a nice touch of detail on the modder's part. In the top right of the screen, you can see the heroes I have under my command. All can do different things, but four in particular are quite useful. A group we shall call the Boys, comprised of Luke Skywalker, Kyle Katarn, Arian Kraken, Han Solo and Chewbacca. Don't start, I know that's five names. If you look carefully, Han Solo and Chewbacca come apart of the same hero unit. The Boys will soon demonstrate why they are the Boys. My first target was the Empire-held planet of Kuat. However, as you can see, that is a massive fleet, which I am not ready to take on. So what do I do? That's right, I send in the boys. My strategy was simple. The Empire had an AT-80. I would use Chewbacca's main ability and capture the AT-80 and use it against the Empire. Simple, effective, base game logic. So, did it work? No. What, really? Should we even have to be able to steal these? He's doing them in base game. Oh, that's... That's just poo, I'm going to steal another tank then. The modder had changed how Chewie's ability worked, and I ended up capturing a small hover tank instead. Oh, that's my tank now. Cool. Then had Luke destroy a random turret, which had decided it didn't care about the existence of walls. And then I captured the victory point, which is a landing zone only a few planets contain, if, like me, you can't be asked to kill everything on sight. Oh, there we are. I've won. Side note. You may have noticed that the landing zones have the ability to have buildable structures placed on them that spawn squads of troops. This is kind of overpowered, but also very, very useful. After the Battle of Tuat, I decided very quickly that I wanted to do the boys' tactic again, and so I did. Twice. My next target was the planet Corellia. I was wondering, I haven't saved. I'll save it for this fight. Which I won. Apparently there's still the landings on it, and they're all dead. <laughs> yeah, it was easy. After that, I set my eyes on the planet Denon, but then I noticed a planet with no allegiances whatsoever. The planet Hananet. And so I took it. Just like that. Boom! This is the New Republics now. Good day. Then I set to work expanding the size of my nearest fleet. Denon had a small fleet, and I could destroy it with little fuss. But first... It was time to send in the boys. The landing was rather peaceful. The enemy was nowhere in sight. So I decided to have my forces go around capturing build pads, these squares right here, as they made their way round to another command post. On the map, I kept seeing these flashes of red. The Empire, whilst I was wandering the map, had decided that the locals would make perfect target practice. When my forces reached the other command point, they found the Empire waiting with ATST and hover tanks, which they had gotten from an abandoned vehicle factory. I picked a target. I gave Chewbacca the order. He captured one of the ATSTs and was quickly brought down to size by one of those hover tanks. I, for a brief moment, thought Chewbacca was dead. 
Thankfully, he wasn't. Alright, Chewie's alive, he survives. I thought I'd lose Chewie, but then he, he survived. Side note. In the base game, hero units that get killed will respawn after a short while. In the Thorns Revenge mod, however, if a hero dies, they stay dead. Anyway, after a merry chase around the map, the Empire was defeated, and the planet was mine. Ah, we won. All I had to do was deal with the fleet above. To aid in the space battle, I decided to have an iron cannon built on the planet, which would prove kind of helpful. Not really. Then the space battle of Denon was a go. This space battle went rather well. My forces jumped in from hyperspace, and we took on the Imperial fleet head on. With the help of the iron cannon, which I used on the Ritui class Star Destroyer, which allowed me to do this. Followed by this. Makes them idiots. After the battle, I quickly set my eyes on Dara 4, but decided against using the boys, for the Ooh. Empire was too dug in. Yeah, they've, they've dug in. Are you sure about that? Instead, I sent the fleet. This battle would turn out to be one of the easiest. Whilst I was sat in cinematic mode, the Empire shat themselves and ran away. <laughs> they are retreating and all. After this battle, I progressed the story some more, got bored and stopped recording. All in all, things had gone rather well. But would the victories continue?